Healthy wild salmon were once abundant in British Columbia, but now they're disappearing. One of the reasons for this is the way we fish. We're going to explain what's wrong with our current fishing system and shine a light on a more sustainable approach. There are five commercially harvested species of Pacific salmon, and there are hundreds of unique populations within each species. Each of these populations have experienced different threats, like fishing pressure, habitat loss, and climate change. Out in the ocean, salmon from struggling populations swim alongside salmon from abundant populations. When they're caught, there's no way of telling which is which. This is called a mixed stock fishery, as populations, or stocks, are mixed together as they travel. These fisheries inadvertently kill salmon from threatened and endangered populations. So how do we fix this? We can look to fishing methods sustainably practiced for generations. Instead of fishing in the ocean, people can wait at the mouth of rivers, letting a single population of salmon come to them. Populations that are doing well can be harvested, and those that aren't can be given a chance to recover. This is called a terminal fishery because salmon are harvested at the end or terminus of their migration. Terminal fishing has been sustainably practiced by indigenous people for thousands of years. It honors the ecological connection between the wild fish and the watersheds they nourish and that sustain them. Today, terminal fisheries are returning to the Pacific coast. Shifting from mixed stock fisheries to terminal fisheries can help prevent overfishing of endangered salmon and help their recovery. People can still eat salmon, but more fish can make it to their spawning grounds where they feed the ecosystem that depends on them. Because wild salmon returning to wild rivers will support fisheries into the future. 